Good morning, everybody. This is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Um, so I am very clairvoyant, um, which I think this is my very first video expressing my capabilities. Um, I hear, see, smell, um, no, um, and it is upgrading as I upgrade. Um, I almost, I am upgrading, and I won't say what I'm upgrading to because it hasn't been fully activated yet, so um, we'll just leave it as I, my clears are enhanced, and I used to be terrified of admitting that. No lie, no shame in admitting where my fears and limitations were. Um, so as a part of my capability, I have, of course, learned to trust what I see, weed out, uh, weed out what um, I don't resonate with, and this is all hitting me. <laughs> um, a revelation is hitting me as we speak. Um, and I give it to whomever comes my way. Um, or I give it to you guys as well as through the energetic updates. So, having said that, the purpose of our, well, you know, part of our purpose and our growth um, through our spirit is learning to become a master. Just like Christ was a servant, he was also a master. We are supposed to be of great service, which is why I do my videos. I share my heart. I am there for people. Um, I don't limit what I give. But I have become a master. And it's not showboating. I am expressing what God has di dictated me to be. But I know where I am anyway as a result of letting go. Letting go of limitations, letting go of fear, letting go of um, uh, emotions, pain, attachments, everything across the board. And it has been tough. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so when I give part of my service, my message to people. That's all I'm supposed to do. I give. I give how I see it and I give my interpretation of it. How you perceive it and receive it is about you, not me. It's not my job to beat an idea into you just like I have been you know, talking about lately. And all of this is coming into play as, as becoming the great master that you can be. I am still in the learning process, which is why I just had a revelation. I am becoming a master. I am not a master. Um, I hope I said that correctly in the beginning of this video. So I am still learning to become a master. Um, Sometimes my heart gets this jolt of discomfort. I'm not going to say pain or anything. Of discomfort because people won't receive your message. Because if people aren't receiving your message, which is coming from source, are they denying source? But I don't want to express that type because here's the thing. People receive according to their level of consciousness and to their willingness to be open. Their willingness to let go of ego. But even in saying that, my ego wanted to tell me they're not receiving. 
that's the ego because I felt a discomfort. I jolted myself out of that. And you have to remind yourself this until you become the great master that you can become. That's when you receive your godlike self. I, I, I'm hoping that's how it's going to be. Um, I'm envisioning that, but I am not expecting anything really. I, I always want to learn. I know that when I am learning from what I give, what I do, from all things, I am always expanding and I am never limiting myself. That's what I want to emphasize here or to keep as the main focal point of this message. Don't limit yourself. Now, if you have the ability to see being a clairvoyant, whatever you want to call it, if you can see, have inner visions, if you are tapping into that awareness, you know that the universe is not limited, which means God is not limited. And in order for you to be your godlike self, you can't limit yourself. Now, if you use that type of understanding and use it towards everything that is taking place in life, whether it's this mask or anything fear in your own reality, how can you see the bigger picture? I am not going to limit myself with what they're telling me about this mask. And I'm going to find a different understanding. Same goes in your own reality when you're at home, friends and family, or creating stillness, whatever is taking place within you. When you eliminate fear, control, ego, pain, separation, all those things, and grow and expand you are not limiting yourself to knowledge you are not limiting yourself to knowledge how you choose to use that is up to you knowledge will be bestowed upon those who seek it continuously not think about it always and that means if you think you have knowledge you are probably somebody who has none because you think you're a know-it-all you think from the ego you think from a book one way and that's it that's limited God is not limited that's something that I've had to remind myself all the time God is not limited and if God is telling me the sky's the limit even beyond that actually if God is telling me I can have everything then it's already mine so what's the problem I don't think that way I don't feel that way I don't act that way that means you have to correct your thinking remove some sort of emotion and stop acting as if you're in poverty or in lacking or separate. A part of all of these energies I think I may have forgotten to mention and maybe I have, I don't know. Revelations will be given to you almost instantly. Um, because time is also speeding up. I felt a great shift take place last night. This is something I forgot to mention in my video previously. I saw the energy shift before me in, in my, my room itself. And then I felt my body shift. I moved a little bit um, on my bed as I was laying there. It was so subtle that an ordinary person would think they're just dizzy. 
time is speeding up, and we are shifting to higher sh higher states of consciousness. Um, I appreciate those who listen to my stories, and you don't have to resonate with every single thing. I am not making you res. I am not making you believe in everything that I'm going through. I'm just asking you to continue believing. I'm asking you to stay open. Uh, because you might not be experiencing it right now or understand it right now or believe in it right now. But when you stay open, you can have more. That's the purpose of receiving. You know, when Christ put his hands out in the receiving mode, you know, he's not, he's asking you to take him in. To take him in. Believe. Receive his message when it isn't easy to be, to be noticed. When it's difficult to be noticed. When you are in the receiving mode, you are always open to understanding what everything, how everything in your reality pertains to you. How you can always learn. How you can always be greater than yourself. It's not about being right. It's not about having a greater idea. It's about expansion. And if you feel limited or you're saying no to something, you are limiting yourself. If you feel afraid of something, that's a limit. Remind yourself. God is not fear. He is love. He is everlasting. He is limitless. And you should want to remove that negative emotion. It's our negativity inside that's the problem. That's why it manifests out in the world. And it will be on replay. The world will show you. Um, I hear people say um, that a lot of broken people come to them. Well, the universe, God, is telling you, you have a great gift. But until you heal yourself, because it speaks about this in the Bible, God doesn't want your charity, your love, what he knows the pain within your own heart. The universe corresponds to what you are. And then the universe will match you. Um, so if broken people are coming into your life all the time, there's people who think that they are there so they can repair them. You can't repair someone if you're broken. You can't repair someone if you're limited. It's only through light, which is strong, structured, and powerful, limitless, that never is depleted, can you heal another individual. That's when people will come to you for healing. And then you can serve your purpose. So I hope all of this makes sense and um, like I said, I appreciate who listens to this and takes in the message here. Everything has a message, no matter your viewpoint on it. It's just understanding it. 
This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.